This is the Desert Fox automatic panner and I'm gonna give you a quick overview on how it works. So firstly, you set the wheel up on a 45 degree angle. It spins the wheel. Your heavy material is gonna stay stuck in the riffles for longer, whereas the water is trying to wash it down. So light material gets washed down and out into your tailings, captures heavy materials, work its way up, goes into the chute and at the end of the day, you're gonna be left with a nice cup of gold if you're onto some good material. So a couple of variables you can play with to dial in your Desert Fox is obviously you've got your angle. I start that off at a 45 degree. You've got your speed control. The faster it's set, um, the faster the material is gonna work its way up or the slower it's set, less material is gonna work its way up and into your chute. The other variable you've got to play with is your water flow. So more water flow means more washing of the material down means less heavies up here and the opposite. So less water, uh, the more material will work its way up. So let's get started with some 20 mesh material and I'll show you just how I use it and how I dial it in. Now there is a little bit of salted gold in this material. I'm just gonna show you. So I can see that material's working its way up to about the second, third last riffle. Right, we'll get all of this in here. Okay, I see some material is spinning around, means I definitely don't have enough water flow, so I'll increase that. Bam, there's a little bit of gold about to drop in right there. It's worked its way up really quickly. Get the rest of this material in, and we'll see it go to work. All right, you see a big chunk of gold getting up there now. So it's just so much heavier than all the other material that it's in there with. Oh, there we go, it's dropping in there. Dropping into the cup right at the back of the machine. It's as simple as that. As long as everything is the same size material, like that's all classified to 20 mesh, um, the gold is definitely gonna be the heaviest in the pan.